Hi, Jackson here at Song Mentor. Today's song is Start Me Up, another one of Keith Richards' iconic riff songs uh, from the Rolling Stones. Uh, this song was shelved a few times, it was uh, under the title Start It Up, uh, Never Stop, and it was originally a reggae feel song. Uh, but eventually, when, when Keith got that lick in that opening riff and that lick in there, they knew they had something special. So here's the Rolling Stones, Keith Richards. Start Me Up. Start Me Up is uh, played in an open G tuning. And the easiest way to explain an open G tuning is that when you strum the six strings open, they play a G chord. Uh, so you retune some of the strings. Now the three notes that are in a G chord are a G, a D, and a B note. Those are the three notes that make up a G chord. So you, what you do with a, an open G tuning is you get rid of the E note uh, on both the high and low strings, and you get rid of the A note because those two notes are not part of a G chord. So by retuning the uh, low E, the A string, and the high E string, um, by retuning them to Gs, Bs, or Ds, you end up with a G chord. It sounds like this. So there's your open strum without any fingering or capo and that's an open G tuning. So logically then when I move my finger up and bar each fret, by the time I get to the fifth fret I'm playing a C chord. And then when I take that C chord and I riff the way Keith Richards does I get this great sounding chord played quite simply, or riff rather, played quite simply using that open G tuning. So let's uh, go back a step and figure out how to do that open G tuning. All right, well I'm back in standard tuning now, so what I'm going to do is tune this low E string down to a D, because remember we want to get rid of that E note and replace it with a D note. So the way I'm going to do that, um, just using my ear, is to play an open D string. Till I can hear that they're an octave apart. Okay, same thing with the open A string. I want to tune that down to a G for the G chord, and I'm going to play the open G note. Okay, until they match, till that open G string matches with now the fifth string is now tuned down to a G. And finally, I'm going to do the same thing with the high E string. I don't want an E in there, I want a D, so I'm going to tune that down again. I can play Okay, now I should have nothing but G's and B's and D's and when I play open I get that open G tuning. When I bar the fifth fret I get an open C chord. Now you may not be perfect by ear, as you could hear that was a little bit out. So what I'm going to do is going to go back to the tuner now and fine tune this. Make sure I tune it so that it's tuned D, G, D, G, B, D. And I'm going to use my tuner for that. We'll be right back. Okay, well now that you understand the, the theory and, and the tuning behind an open G tuning, I've gone back to an electronic tuner and made sure that the strings were right on. Uh, that they, they are in fact um, a, a D, a G, a D, a G, a B, and a D. And they are. So now I've got a very pure sounding, accurate G chord when I strum open, and a C chord when I, when I bar the fifth fret. So the, the Keith Richards riff here is. Okay, so by in playing that, what I'm doing is taking my second finger and um, placing it on the sixth fret of the second string, and my third finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, on and off, on and off. It's actually an A minor seven chord formation. Off, two strokes on, one off, two on. And then when I move down for the blues chop, I can still use that same formation rather than fool around with my fingers. Just slide everything down, but this time I'm just going to play it as if it were um, a B flat 5. 
In other words, I'm just going to pick down on the five and four strings instead of. I'm just picking down on five and four, so. And that's your essential riff. Now let's, uh, let's figure out the entire intro and we'll get into this song. Hey, just before we talk about this Stones riffing, let's talk a little bit about sound. Uh, you want a little bit of overdrive on your amp here, but not so much that it uh, disturbs the clarity of, of this riffing, because it's got a very nice, bright, clear tone to it as well. Uh, so just a little bit of overdrive. And the other thing you want to add, if you have it, is reverb. You want that... If you can hear that, that's the right sound for this song. So. Uh, crank your reverb up a little bit and just a little bit of overdrive. Okay, again, so we've got that. Now, see that little run down here and that's just there's there's sort of colliding guitars in this song so we're trying to capture a little bit of that set what the second guitar is doing and so by putting that little run in from th uh, a string third fret second fret open and then back to that so The secret to, to doing this Stone stuff and the Keith Richards stuff is to, to not be predictable. It's, it's loose strumming, it's loose playing, and it's almost never the same twice. As long as you've got that... Change it up the next time. It just has, you know, you want to play with it and, and, and make it a little bit different each time because the only thing predictable about Keith Richards is that his playing is unpredictable. So you want to, you want to feel it more than pattern it and, and re repeat it exactly the same every single time. Um, so that's going to cover the opening. through that you're going to do your, your your intro part and then we're going to get into the chorus eventually because once we start singing a verse it's more of the same stop me up I'll never stop if you stop me up if you stop me up I'll never stop okay when we get to the the chorus you make the grown man cry. You make the grown man cry. Now we've got the luxury of having these bar chords that play full major chords. So all you're doing is barring the fifth fret, which is a C chord, and then I'm using my pinky here and barring the tenth fret to play the F chord. A little bit of vibrato on that. using my pinky is there's a riff in here I'm going to show you uh, that he plays like this when he gets down to that C that bar C he does this little okay and that's using your pinky on the fifth and fourth strings eighth fret seventh fret and then the fifth fret
so that's and just at the end of the chorus um, when he sings a mean mean machine we get into that a little bit it's kind of a Leonard Skinner thing there okay so I think I'm giving you these little bits I've given you this that little rundown I've given you the giving you this little and the only other thing I'm going to give you again is that word just mix it up as you're playing through the riffs and this chording feel free to mix it up because that's what Keith would do let's do a playthrough tuning well again without repeating myself over and over again this is this is a song about uh, feel and and getting that Rolling Stones feel that nice loose riffing <laughs> It's just it's got such a nice feel to it you've learned today about uh, open G tuning I hope that was a little bit helpful you can take your guitars and tune them back to regular tuning now for your next song but when you're playing start me up this is the tuning to go with there you go the Rolling Stones we'll see you next time on Song Mentor